All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Real Talk video with your boy, JT. I pray everybody's having a blessed weekend as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title now says JT's response to Stacey Dash's comments about Black History Month and uh, what she said about BET. First of all, I'm going to state this off top. Let me give a major shout out to Stacey Dash. I agree with it everything that she said in that. Uh, and if anybody that's looking at me, you've been watching me for a while, you know that I've been saying this for years. And I've done a video a couple of years back about how I wish they would get rid of Black History Month. See, I'm not finna come from an angry side or opinions in this. I'm coming from a spiritual side uh, because most of the black people that's crying and complaining about what Stacy what Stacy Dash said, the majority of the time is the ones that love to live lost. I'm gonna say it like that. And I'm not talking about all black people. First of all, I'm gonna clear this up like I always do. I don't like the term black. I hate the fact that people have accepted black and that's what they call themselves. I don't call myself a black man. I don't call myself an African man. I'm not going to accept the title that somebody gave me and just say, that's what I am. I mean, it's just like Christianity. They were called Christians. So a lot of people, if you ain't a Christian, you ain't a child of God, they were called Christians. The Bible never said, call yourself a Christian. The Bible says, don't be ashamed to suffer as a Christian. That's why I don't call myself black man. No, I don't call myself Christian. But that's just me. You do what you want to do. It's fine with me. So I just wanted to say that off top because when you start looking at this whole title of Black Man, Black History Month, BET, or Black Churches, Black Leader, Black, 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 all that's going to keep doing is keep on causing more and more confusion. And it's going to continue to keep, I'm going to just use it in this video, Black people, so-called Black people, lost. Most of us is lost in a state of mind can't come out of it. You know, I'm not going to say being ignorant no more because a lot of people are not being ignorant. They being stupid and they don't want to know. And once they hear a little bit of truth as what Stacey Dash was saying in that video, they swell up and get mad. Now, from looking at that, um, everything she said made so much sense to me. And it's the people that's in love with BET, in love with Black History Month, First of all, all of this being in categories, once again, is just keeping you more and more divided up. I'm going to say this before I go any further. If you really knew what black history was de designed for, you would stop worrying about Black History Month. Real talk. Because it was set up for you to stay in confusion. It was set up for you to continue to reflect back on what they done and, and how your mind is still messed up. And it's a reason why they keep coming out with movies like 12 Years of a Slave. When you see Rosewood, Mississippi Burning, movies that continue to show slavery. And then when you fast forward and cut on the TV to the shows, what do you the series, what do you see? A black woman being portrayed as a hoe, like Carrie Washington. I'm not calling her a hoe. I'm just talking about the role that she played. Or uh, let's look at Mary Jane. Messed up, black woman, independent, you know, messing with somebody else's husband. And then when you get past that, what do you have? All the reality shows of women who want to call themselves divas, who can't get along, can't stand each other. And that's what the majority of people are looking at now. So when she made the statement, Stacey Dad say, to get rid of Black History Month and BET, I know exactly what she was talking about. Most of what BET is going to show you is hood movies. You don't see too many things that's on the television positive about what black people is. It's always the black man got to play a gay role or got to play a woman role or the black woman got to play some type of hoe, some type of low down baby mama. But when a person like Stacy addressed this and say we should get rid of it, She's now she's a hater. Just like I'm gonna be called a hater for doing this video for agreeing with her. Let me tell you something. Truth is truth. I don't care who my outfit come out of. 
when you really look at how the black person stays down year after year, generation after generation because of, well, mom and them told us to be this way. I'm going to tell you something. If I was to listen at a lot of people that's dead and gone now, I would walk around with the hatred of white people. But I thank the most time I'm not like them because all they whole life where the white man got his foot in my neck. The white man got me down. The white man don't want me to get no further than where I'm at. I've been busting my butt. But when you look at reality, the white man never had him down. Your habits had you down. You smoked your life away. You drank your life away. You gambled off all the money that you had. You never was a good steward that the Bible says be a good steward and make wise decisions. It ain't the white man that's keeping most black people down. It's they self. And black folks keeping black folks down. That's what it is when you look at it in reality. We want to keep playing this blame game, but in reality, when you look in the mirror, check a look, take a look at yourself and see what you are doing and what you are not doing and see if it line up with the word. See, you never needed a black leader in the first place. Now you got Black History Month. Black churches. Look at what I'm saying, y'all. I, I, I don't go to white churches. I go to black churches. What is the black church? Division. The Holy Spirit sees no color. We do. The Holy Spirit is not a respecter of person. The Holy Spirit is not about racism. We see that comes from the devil himself. So anything that the devil can create to keep confusing, just like Black History Month, he's going to do it. I say the same thing about holidays versus holy days. The, the majority of black people don't care nothing for the holy days, but they celebrate holidays. So I'm just going to keep it real in this video. Don't tell me about Halloween, brother. I got my little daughter and my son. We've been doing that for years. You, they don't want to hear that the Halloween is the devil's high Sabbath. It's demonic. It's devil worship. When they hear the truth, they're going to, oh, he a hater, man. He don't even like his own kind. She don't like her own kind. People that tell the truth, you are always going to be hated on. Now, if you want to be popular, keep a lot of lies going. That's why I'm not worried about a popularity contest. I don't care about who's hating on me. Hate, hate all you want. As a matter of fact, I know this video is going to get more dislikes than likes. Just cost of the title. When you keep keeping yourself binded up, religion is bad enough. But just like Nick, well, yeah, this month, it's February, I already heard it pretty much. Today is the 30th. We finna be in February. Oh, we gotta be nice to each other this month. Just this month. In, in February, more and more black people gonna murder each other. You stole my rims. He said something that pissed me off. He was trying to holler at my girlfriend. I just don't like him. I don't like her. We still see how we don't get along. So when she talked about BET and the Oscar Awards and all of that, when I thought about BET, I thought about the average movie that comes on BET. Look at what it is. And then look at how many times they show it. When you see these movies all the time, once again, these slave movies, Roots, or uh, all of these series that's on that's portraying the black woman down and low dirty, the black man lying down and low dirty. Then you look at You Are Not the Father, some of these shows. We outnumber everybody with stupidity. Not only that, then cut on world star hood fights. See, I'm talking about what's real. Everybody got their phones recording a, 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 a hood fight. Quam Bisa and Keisha beating the hell out of each other. Posted online. Stupid. Stupid getting people killed. So when you look at what do we have that's positive, we don't have nothing too much. You look at the world, then you look at the, the black church. All they doing in most of, I didn't say all, but all they doing in most of the black churches is crying about a building fund and having all kind of anniversaries and fish fries and bake sales and running around shouting and diving over pews and talking about prosperity. That's in most churches. Building fund for 20 years. 
Ain't put a porch on the church. What's real is what's real. So you have to sit down and ask yourself, was Stacy Dash really telling the truth? Is it any truth in what she was saying? Because black can't figure out how to get along with black. My, my worst enemy is not the white man. I got more problem out my next door neighbor. Somebody catch that. I got more problem out of the crackhead that's stealing. Who's calling me brother man, brother man, you my brother. Those are the ones who target each other all the time. Black on black crime. And y'all wonder why I always say quit marching. Forget about Black History Month. Forget about calling out Sharpton and Jesse Jackson for your next leader. All this, who gonna lead us? You got a black president and you still crying about that? He didn't do nothing. He been in there eight years. He ain't do nothing for black people. You ain't gonna never be satisfied. Stop looking toward uh, Capitol Hill and put your focus on the hills toward where your help should come from, which is the most high. But the problem with that is the government got most of our blacks. Got them. That's how they pay their rent. That's how they get food. That's the shelter. The government owns them. In other words, Satan owns them. You can call me a hater all you want, but you can't argue with this truth that I'm talking about. These movies, Black History Month, once again, all of this keep you in bondage. They keep on reminding you on a daily basis of how they done to mess up your mind. That's why every time a young male get killed by a cop, black folks gonna march. But black folks ain't marching when little Tyreek killed Ray Ray dead on the block. See, if we was the marching behind all of that, you'd be marching five, seven days a week. All the funeral, uh, funeral arrangements you got to keep making. See, a lot of stuff just don't be reported. But my point is, if you're going to march for something, what you going to march for? March for what you going to... I mean, let me, let, me, let me rephrase that. If you're going to march for something. My question is, what are you marching for? That's what I meant to say. What are you marching for? To get equal with who? Satan's world. I hope somebody can wake up. You standing marching and protesting and crying and complaining to get equal in the world that you shouldn't even be equal with. If you are a true believer, if you are under the most high, if you are a child of the king, you know what I'm talking about. You're not trying to get equal with Satan's world. That's why Yahshua said my kingdom is not of this world. That's not mine. Satan tried to offer that to, the, to Yahshua. When he was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. You better do like our Savior did and reject it. Problem with most folk, even Christians, they want it. That's why the gospel industry is in the, it's in the same boat. Black history was a design to, to keep you down once again. Check out my video I did on her call. I wish they'd get rid of Black History Month. I always said if Martin Luther King was alive right now, if Martin Luther King Jr. was alive right now, he had to go to sleep and have another dream. Because black people, quote unquote, done got so far further away than we ever been. You had more people on one accord when King was living. Now, division. It's a crying shame where we at now. That's why I say even if it ain't, Black History Month, if it ain't BET, look at the internet. Even YouTube, just type in hood fights and watch how many black people come up fighting. Type in world star. Type in twerking. Type in baby mama drama, baby dad. See who gonna pop up the most because we look like the most stupid race, race there is. And I'm not, I'm not talking about everybody. We got more baby mama drama, baby daddy mess than anything now. We got more baby showers than bridal showers. We got more messed up hoods that's not a community. The government is pretty much raising everybody in the, in the, in the black neighborhood. Not everybody. 
Let me say that right. That's why I keep saying I'm in agreement with Stacey Dash. I'm just tying all this in together because I'm tired of them portraying a black woman as a whole. Just like Mary Jane and just like Kerry Washington playing on Scandal. And these reality shows. Everybody want to be a diva. These women can't even get along with each other. So when you look at BET, what do you really see? Most people I know, you know what they say BET stand for? Black Embarrassment Television. So yeah, I give Stacey Dash a hand clap for standing and speaking what's right. And I don't care who get mad. See, most people know she's telling the truth when she said, I wish they would get rid of Black History Month. Morgan Freeman said the same thing. The more and more you go through history, generation after generation, when were we ever treated right in the first place? So why are you shocked now because you don't fit in in the Oscars? You still look down on. What I mean? We've been looked down on. You know what that make me do? Hold my head up higher because it make me proud. It make me feel good to know that the Most High show favor on me, favor on you. It makes me feel good when I see them youngsters on the corner that's, that's Hispanic. They want to rap. They want to dress like. They want to act like the black man that everybody talking bad about. It, it makes me feel good when I see some of these women that I know that's white. They saying, I wish I could look like a black woman. And then look at what the majority of most of the black women are doing, trying to look like somebody else. Because they ain't figured out how wonderfully made they are. They go buy all kind of wigs and put on all kind of makeup to change their image on how they look and they already are beautiful. Just speaking what's real, y'all. Just speaking what's real. And the first thing that caught my attention that Stacey Dash said that stuck out so powerful to me is when she said we need to make up our minds are we going to be for segregation or integration? And y'all know how I feel about both of them. So she said, Stacy said, that if you don't want to have segregation, then you need to get rid of channels like BET. That, that statement right there messed up a lot of folks. Black. So-called black people. That's why she's called a true hater. What is she saying? Why would she make a statement like that? Because she's telling the truth. But look at the majority of people who love BET, who love hood movies, who love to see the black woman being portrayed as a whole, because that's my favorite show. I want to be the next Mary Jane. It's more to a black man's life than hustling and selling dope. The hood, but like I say, they only portray one-sided stories. Tyrone done got killed again. He sold dope, got shot, movie over. I feel Stacey Dash with that. What if everybody wanted their own channels? What if everybody wanted their own special month? That's why I say that once again, say the same thing about these holidays. When most people at Thanksgiving is sitting around carving turkeys and eating and getting full, full, you know who's mourning? You know who's crying out, who's remembering what was done to them while you eating and chilling and, and around your family while their family gone. They loved ones was murdered, heads chopped off, beheaded. Somebody tell me who I'm talking about. When you learn truth, you start quitting a lot of stuff. I don't care Mama, mama did love it and Big Mama and them loved it. Once you learn truth, see this is the question you got to ask yourself. Do you love truth or do you love tradition? Because if you find in yourself love and truth, you're going to knock out tradition. That's what I've done in my life. That bull history that they taught us in school was nothing but lies. You had to get out of school to learn the truth. How can you teach me my history without the word of the Most High? You're going to stay lost. Probably with most of us, we don't want to read nothing. 
when real people speak truth, a lot of people get offended because that's what they're used to. Just look at these awards, BET awards, image awards. You got to have a different type of awards. That means it's only a certain category we're going to win this award. It's all divided up. That's what confusion do. That's why I'm going to say this again. Black History Month was nothing but confusion from the beginning. Nothing but confusion. That's why everything they keep putting on TV is confusion. They use IBS to make money off of. You are not the father. Black man start turning back flips and running around. Woo! Shouting. And the little baby is hurting in the middle. Gonna grow up without another father. Just keeping it real. Ratings, they ratings be sky high because of our stupidity. Truth is the truth. You can't argue with the truth. When you look at, I always look at older actors since we tying all this in together. One of my favorite older actors was um, Sidney Poitier. Everybody compare Denzel as a, a, a young Sidney Poitier in his time. And when you looked at a movie like John Q, you would have thought that, oh, I know Denzel going to get an Oscar for that one. Didn't happen, though, did it? But when he played Alonzo in Training Day, the crooked gangster, low-down, dirty cop that didn't show no love for nothing, he won, didn't he? My point is, if you are looking for that reward in Satan's world, don't be mad at it. You got what you wanted. But if you're looking for more and you're working on eternal life, you live in this life to work on your eternal life, you're on the right track. If you feel like I feel, then you don't care nothing for trying to gain anything in Satan's world. You setting your life right now for what's to come. And if you don't believe in the Most High, I feel sorry for you. The question is, once again, where do you want your rewards to come from? The world or the Most High? Jada Pinkett Smith got mad when Will wasn't nominated for the Moscow's. But check this out. You got actors who've been acting for years. Years on top of years. Went to school very good. They've been acting for years and years. And now a gangster rapper can pretty much come take their spot. <laughs> Who ain't even been acting that long. They love to see us confused. Don't give them the opportunity. It don't matter. I always say this in my life. It don't matter what I do. I'm still going to be looked at because of the color of my skin. But I ain't no fool. I love to read. I ain't in nobody's penitentiary. I ain't got babies running over here and over there and baby mama drama. I love the most high. I love to serve. And I love to educate others on stuff they don't know nothing about. So I ain't no fool by long shot. But you get this way when you follow Yahweh. See, everything I used to love, I started hating it because it wasn't of the most high. That's why I hate Black History Month. I hate religion and tradition. Tradition of men makes the word of the most high mad. I hate that we divide up. Oh, we got to go to the black church. We got to go to the black church, black church, black church. And when a funeral comes, it'd be people from all races. A funeral is like a magnet. It draws all kind of people together, no matter what color you are. I wish we could come together with color inside of a building for something other than a funeral. I wish preachers would come together for something 
other than a, a, a pastor's anniversary, begging for money and funerals. See, you don't see Al and Jesse. I, I, you know, I ain't talking bad about them, but you don't see too many of these these black leaders and preachers talking about the Holy Spirit because politics, money, politics, and mess keeps them separated from teaching and standing on what we need to be talking about. When, when you spend all your time marching and protesting and just talking, look at how much time you done wasted. And then while you marching and protesting, somebody else getting killed while you doing that. But instead of gathering folks together, teaching truth, I'm not saying they're not doing it never. I'm saying the focus is off when you keep on cutting on the television and you see everybody running after the same thing. Protesting. Well, they done murdered another teenager, them police are, well, bone bone and crush it and killed each other over her. I don't see nobody marching up and down Chicago. I don't see nobody marching in Memphis. I don't see nobody marching in these places where folks is really getting murked at while we keep talking about Black History Month. And every time they pull the cover off their face, who is that dead right there? Another black person, quote unquote. Since this is what the video is about, I'm saying all this to keep saying I agree with Stacey Dash. Holly Berry had to do the sex scene in Monster Ball with what's my boy named Billy Bob Thornton. Y'all know how it went. But when I but when I thought about what Morgan what Morgan Freeman said, not Morgan, excuse me, Morgan. That was on I what was that, 60 minutes? Um a while back, Morgan Freeman and Mike Wallace, that's his name, Mike Wallace. I love how Morgan kept it real. Old boy asked him about Black History Month. Morgan Freeman said, Black History Month is ridiculous. It's on YouTube right here. Just type it in, Morgan Freeman, what he said on Black History Month. He said it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're going to bring my, in, in other words, you're going to bring all of my history down to one month gonna summarize it down to one month he asked uh, he asked Mike Wallace which month is white history month Mike said I'm Jewish so Morgan said okay Mr. Siams which month is Jewish history month Mr. Siams Mike said there isn't one mm. so he said to, Mr., to, to, to uh, Morgan Freeman well, how are we going to get rid of racism? Morgan Freeman said, stop talking about it. If you stop calling me a black man, I'll stop calling you white man. That's why I don't call people black man. Hey, black man or white man. I, you know what I call you by your name. If your name is Johnny Taylor, Johnny Jones, that's what I'm going to call you. Regardless of what color you are. Holy Spirit don't see color. Love shouldn't see color. But it go to show you how much of us really love each other. I don't consider myself black man nor African man. You know, Malcolm X once said that our history got destroyed by slavery. But see, but when you learn biblical history versus what a lot of black people call white history, they, they beat us down. Biblical history is totally different. Because it didn't matter what color you are. When you owe somebody something, you became their slave. It didn't matter what color you were. You became slaves to them. So when I once again, Stacy Dash, big shout out to you. Something my big brother PP Drawing said on her. And big shout out to you, PP Drawing, if you just happen to be listening. You said the only reason we even have a Black History Month is so our mentality won't come up to where it really needs to be. And Pastor Stephen Darby says the same thing on there. Big shout out to you too, big brother. Keep your, and keep your mentality all messed up. 
That's why I'm going to say this again. If you really knew why Black History Month was designed, you wouldn't even worry about it. But look at how many of us, they better be nice to us this month. And we killing each other the whole month. Physically, spiritually, even mentally. What they taught me in school, once again, wasn't no history. You know what they wanted us to learn? The presidents. You got to learn the presidents, Jerome. Oh, okay. You got to learn the, the, the states and all the capitals. They fed us the, the, the mess about Thanksgiving. They gave us the, the, the watered down, put together satanic Christmas mess. Easter. But when you look at the Bible versus what they taught, you'll see Christmas was fake. Easter was fake. Thanksgiving was a uh, 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 I like to call that a massacre. So what good was, why they had me learning the presidents and learning the states and the capitals and all that other mess that didn't have nothing to do with life. Once I got old and started reading and studying the presidents, oh, I saw a bloodline. I saw wickedness. I started seeing how wicked D.C., how wicked Washington really is. See, I'm one of these brothers that love to read. Most of us are stuck in slavery in our mind. We want to get mad at that saying, if you want to make, if you want to hide anything from black people, put it in the book. Oh man, the majority of us won't even read. I, I, I ain't got time for that, JT. I ain't got time to be reading all that, but I got time to scroll down and look at all my comments and messages on Facebook right there. That's going to take at least 20, 30 minutes. I ain't got time, brother. Empire about to come on. I ain't got time, man. Mary Jane finna come on. Once you find out who you are, who you serving, Black History Month don't matter. None of this stuff don't matter. And the majority of people gonna call you a true hater, a Uncle Tom, a sellout, or you hate your own kind, a house nigga. See, niggas will hate this video. But check this out. When I'm using the term nigga, I'm talking about foolish people. So all I just said is fools will hate this video. When I say nigga, it don't have nothing to do with color. A fool could be any color. But real people, spiritual, spiritual soldiers out here, y'all know what I'm talking about. And y'all, y'all gonna be right on one accord with me because we her. So I'm expecting more dislikes than likes once again. I'm expecting more and more negative comments than positive. Because I'm backing up what Stacy said. But even if Stacy wouldn't have said it, JT said it years ago and been saying it. And I'm going to keep on saying it. Stop trying to get equal and fighting for this satanic world. If somebody don't like you, they just don't like you. So why spend your time trying to get them to like you and accept you? If they don't like you and accept you, keep it moving. Because you know what? They going to do what they want to do anyway. So y'all, that's my time. Have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day.